as a plan by the federal government. Uh, you remember it was a conservative social democratic grand coalition before the last elections to pay out subsidies to legacy media to help them fund distribution of printed newspapers. You know, what's not to like? <laughs> well, it wasn't supposed to go into, into the distribution, but it was for a quote unquote innovation, which mm -hmm. included you could buy uh, VR goggles, you could buy a new CMS system, you could buy hardware, you could buy Facebook ads, uh, Google ads, like marketing stuff. Everything that we as digital publishers have to pay for ourselves, even though we don't have the uh, legacy income streams, right? So we are startups, we're starting from scratch at media, making money with journalism is hard as everyone I hope knows. Um, and um, so um, why were people who already have enough money or who, you know, had the last 20, 30 years to, to, um, to, to do their homework, why are there now being handed 220 million euros? That was the plan. So it's a huge sum of money, right? Even, even in a big media market like Germany, the legacy media would get that money. New digital media, such as my publication, Kraut Reporter, but also the hundreds of publications that use the company that I co-founded, Steady, they would get zero. <laughs> Is that fair? No, it's not fair. And maybe you could say, well, you know, another uh, uh, guy complaining about uh, not getting uh, the money that other people get. <laughs> True. But this is about media. This is about freedom of speech, right? This is not just like any other industry. It should not concern the state, uh, how I conduct my business, how I am able to... Um, to distribute my content and uh, uh, especially the state should not be able to favor some media over others and that's what happened and what's especially spicy about that situation is the money would have to be would have uh, been paid out in the six weeks just before the election 